Greetings reptile lovers and welcome back to Snakes of Chaos. Uh, my package finally came in today. Here it is. Uh, it's a package from BHB Reptiles which is owned by Brian Barczyk. And I ordered two pastels, both uh, het for pied. So we'll go ahead and get these guys out of the box. They've had a long trip and I need to get something to open this box with. When in doubt, a key always works. So. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to aim the camera down at the box and we're going to see how they're packed. This is my first time ever ordering anything from BHB. So you know, I want to, you know, see, you know, get a good idea how they, you know, package their animals. Here we go. So, we'll get rid of that. All right, so here we are. We have this foam piece here, and they have a, uh, a charcoal heat pad on the top. So that's good. And some paper. Oh, I see snake bags. Yes, yes, yes. And they have a cool pack down here. Okay, that's interesting. And this one. It feels rather cool. Pastel Het Pied. Uh, 924 of 20. He's on live rat pups. So, okay, this is the this is the male. And go ahead and set him down over here. And here we have the female. So, and also on live rat pups. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the box. And we're gonna set these guys down very gently right here. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna open the bags. We're gonna show them really quick. We're gonna make this, this is gonna be a very quick video. They've been through a very long journey. I'm sure they're stressed out. They're probably not in a good mood and they feel rather cool. So, and the weather is cold out. So, Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is, this is the female right here. A pastel, head pied, female. She is moving a little bit. She is rather on the cool side, but it is, I mean, it's December. It is rather cold out. So yeah, I need to get her into her habitat, you know, very soon. But I just wanted to go ahead and show, show these guys to you really quick. And then they're gonna go to their new habitats, which I've already have set up for them. And you know, we'll get them, uh, get them situated and comfortable. But yeah, this, uh, here's the female. And one of the things I always do, no matter where the reptile comes from, is, you know, I check for anything, you know, everything from mites, respiratory infection, anything that just doesn't seem right or whatever. And thus far, I don't see anything. Okay, and what I was doing there uh, is I'm listening for any whistling, gurgling, anything abnormal with the breathing, and she sounds fine. So we're gonna set her down right here. And now we're gonna get the male out. We're gonna check him out really quick, and I'll show him real quick. 
and that'll be that. Yeah, we'll get them in their habitats. Uh, they will be quarantined uh, probably for the next six to eight weeks to make sure that they're not sick or they don't get sick from the trip and whatnot. And other than that, uh, you know, then they can come out, come out here and uh, join the rest of the collection. And yep, there he is. I see him moving a bit. Hi, buddy. Can I pick you up? And there we go. Here is, yeah, this is, uh, yes, this is the male. And yeah, the, yeah, but is this the same? Yeah, he's got the striping and all that, so. Yeah, and this is one of the things that got me in the photo is right there, this marking right here. It, uh, well, if you'll cooperate, uh, it looks like a six. So yeah, this is actually on the BHB website. Uh, that's why I selected this one uh, because of you know, the pattern really. And you can see how the pattern kind of almost looks like stripes or whatever. And yeah, you know, of course my wife pointed out the, the marking that looks like a six compared to some of the others. Um, and all the, his markings were a little more different you know, than the others that they had for sale. So that's why I selected him and I was hoping that the one they sent me was the one pictured. And it in fact is. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, he looks really good. I'm gonna lower him down real quick so I can kind of get the light to shine off of him because I'm checking for anything like mites or anything like that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that, uh, that Brian doesn't take good care of his animals or his people don't, I'm sure they do. It is my first time ordering from them. So like I said, I do this no matter where they come from. So, cause you know, accidents happen, things happen. You know, it's just, it's, it's just better, you know, if something happened in transit or something, you know, got accidentally missed, it's better to, you know, pick up on it early so that it can be treated and, you know, ensure the, you know, the good health of your animal. But I see like a little, yeah, that's, looks like a colored scale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. That's a, uh, that's just one of the scales. So yeah, I mean he looks good. He looks beautiful. He's actually, he's actually starting to crawl around my hand. So let's go ahead and listen to him real quick. If I don't get my ear bit. Yeah, he's not being very cooperative. Okay, so with him, I hear no gurgling, no whistling. Yeah, he's, he's actually getting very active. The warmth from my hands must be warming him up. But yeah, I don't see any mucus, nothing like that. So, all right, so yep, these are, these are my snakes that I just got in from BHB. Let's see, I'll pick up the female as well. You know, the female's still kind of balled up. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> yeah, I can tell he's a, uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be, he, he might be a little firecracker, I don't know. But he hasn't struck or anything, so, you know, that, that's always good. But like I said, you know, it was, it was rather cool out. All right, buddy, come on. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these guys uh, into their enclosures, let them get settled in, get warmed up and uh, whatnot. And uh, we're gonna start their, their quarantine. And you know, today will mark day one of their one week of not being handled. So next, you know, this is a Wednesday, December 2nd. So I'm not sure when this, you're gonna see this video, but uh, next Wednesday, uh, we'll try to go ahead and feed them so 
But uh, other than that, uh, we're going we're gonna to get them in their enclosures, leave them alone for a week, let them acclimate and adjust. And in a week, we'll try to feed them. And I might try to uh, go ahead and uh, record that, you know, their first feeding. But other than that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get them in their enclosures and get them settled in so they can warm up and relax after their long journey. So that, that's all I got for now. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.